process all the things that have led to my departure from the band. And there's a lot of speculation and it's very like it's just been overwhelming and I I appreciate it. Uh I'm going to clear the air. So I have a statement I'm going to read it. Bear with me. It's uh, I just woke up a little while ago. Um but this has to get cleared up. So <clears throat> Dear friends, let me start by expressing a huge grit of, of gratitude to all of the fans. All the people at our label, our management, our lawyers, and everyone who helped in establishing Bad Wolf's career. I take great pride and sincerity in what we all accomplished together. Bad Wolves became the fastest rising rock band in the last decade with five number one consecutive hit singles. Thanks to our massive support from all of the fans in the Wolfpack, we exploded onto into mainstream rock consciousness, which is no small feat for a bunch of dudes from metal bands. We even held the number one spot across the entire Apple Music platform on all continents. We accumulated hundreds of millions of streams, and as a result, you helped us uh, by giving back over hundreds of thousands of dollars to various charities. Our future was bright, and our trajectory was undeniable as an arena band, <clears throat> until COVID struck and everyone's life changed. I saw things happening that I didn't understand. During the first quarantine, I publicly voiced my concerns about where we are going as a nation and what is happening to the country that I love. I voiced my disappointment for protests that had turned into violent riots. Cities, businesses, lives destroyed, and then called mostly peaceful. I criticized the media standing idle and even condoning that behavior. I pointed out that good causes were infiltrated by bad actors, hijacked and delegitimized a good movement. I dared to question who financially benefited from all this and who was funding these events. I questioned the lockdowns when small businesses were driven into bankruptcy and yet big chains were allowed to operate. I questioned imposed social distancing when rioting and looting was exempt, or why you can't have family gatherings or eat at restaurants with, you, with anyone unless you're a politician. <clears throat> the repeated, this is a repeated hypocrisy we saw time and time again. And for this, they came after me. Me, an African-American artist speaking his mind. I became unacceptable by the gatekeepers because I walked off the plantation. I had to be silenced. Cancel culture came after my band. I was threatened, I was ridiculed, I was blackmailed, and smear campaigns were launched to destroy my career, my reputation, and my livelihood. These events really opened my eyes because this was no longer just an urban legend or conspiracy theory. This was literally happening to me. Censorship became very real, and I was fighting organized hit job after organized hit job aimed at my character and even my physical freedom. This is when I realized what I was up against. This is bigger than me. This is when and why I publicly endorsed the sitting president of the United States of America. Because I believed he was fighting the same big tech the same media, the same gatekeepers, the same faceless radicals who wish to destroy our First Amendment rights. But I will not be silenced. I will not abandon my values and my love for the flag of this country. I will fight for the Constitution and our freedom of speech, which hopefully now all of you can see is being blatantly violated by big tech. However, this is my fight. I realize I cannot drag my band members and people around me into this. I on my own decided to go solo. This way, everything I say and do will affect only me. I wish the best for the guys in Bad Wolves. We had some of the best times of my life building a band together, and I love those guys. But you, you guys know me, and I have to fight back. This is who I am. I can't expect you to put your lives on the line to defend me, especially when we don't have the same ideologies in mind. I can't accept the label to fight my battles on my behalf. And to, to all the fans, to my friends, to my family, thank you for always supporting my voice. I'm excited to start the next phase of my career. Over the past year, I've recorded over 37 songs by myself. 
Due to COVID, there was no way for the band to get together and to work on a record. And so I worked fever feverishly in the studio uh, with different artists, producers. Fever feverishly in the studio uh, with different artists, producers, and songwriters. And after 37 songs were completed, it was very clear that I had become a solo artist. <clears throat> I don't want anyone to say negative things to my former band members. Those guys are going to have a hard enough time processing all this, finding a new singer and finishing a record when they couldn't work all last year. I don't want anybody to say hateful things on my behalf. I don't have negative feelings toward these guys. And we had a really great run and we accomplished some great things. I'm still part owner of Bad Wolves. And I want them to succeed. For me right now, I'm going to be moving on. So in the, the link in my bio, I have a link tree and I'm starting a GoFundMe page because uh, I have to finish paying for the studio. So basically, now that I'm stepping down, I have a massive studio bill that was supposed to be covered by an advance from a record label I no longer have. What I will What I will do is, whether you donate a dollar or ten dollars or a hundred dollars, whatever you donate, you will get a free copy of the cover album uh, and a link that will go out to everyone who participates in the GoFundMe. Uh, I put up an OnlyFans. There are not there are no nudes on there. <laughs> uh, and then all of the the entire cover albums, the double cover albums, all but two songs, so twenty two songs. Those songs uh, were not recorded by members of Bad Wolves. Uh, they were they were recorded with my studio team. It's the same the same guys, um, Philip Naslin, the Swedish producer, uh, and Max Karen, who's a guitar player and producer out of Las Vegas, who also are the artists who played on Zombie that everybody knows. Um, so, the this has been my creative writing team, uh, and I'm gonna continue to work with these guys. And I'm really, really looking forward to getting music out as soon as possible. So as soon as uh, as soon as I get this stuff done, I'm going to be putting up a sh uh, shop. I'm going to be collaborating with other artists. I've already talked to so many, so many like A-list uh, artists have reached out to me from the hip hop world, from rock bands, from metal bands. Uh, it's been a, it's been overwhelming. Uh, I know I'm I'm taking a bullet. I'm ta I'm taking an arrow straight to the face. Uh, but this is sometimes you have to do what you have to do uh, when you believe in something. And when things are wrong, you can either shut up and play the game uh, or you can speak the truth and speak what you think is is uh, what's right. So I love all you guys. Please, uh, anybody who screen recorded this, go over to my Facebook, uh, either Vexed or Tommy Vexed and, and post it on the page. Uh, Share it with whoever you like, share it on your stories. Uh, but this is very real and everyone's seeing it. We're seeing celebrities and politicians being completely deleted from social media platforms. Uh, we're seeing, I'm not the only artist who's been dropped from his record label because of uh, some of the political statements that have been made. This is a widespread issue and it's, it's up to you guys. You know, I'm somebody who, like as I previously said, I, I've donated over three hundred and fifty thousand dollars in my career, which is over three hundred and fifty thousand dollars in my career, which is more than what I'm worth to uh, to various charities, including Dolores O'Riordan's family, and most recently the police officers who were shot in the ambush in Compton. Uh, and I, I'm not somebody who's comfortable asking for help, and this is a real humble moment for me because humble moment for me because I have I have to continue to do my art I have to continue to make music I have to continue to get it out to do my art I have to continue to make music I have to continue to get it out to you guys 
to do my art. I have to continue to make music. I have to continue to get it out to you guys. Um, I'm going to be starting a website and, um, you know, you guys can sign up for, for all that stuff as it comes. And if you guys, if you can give, if you can't give, that's okay. Um, if you have any, you could just leave positive reinforcing messages. And again, you know, you have, you have to understand Doc and John and Chris and Kyle are like my brothers. I've known these guys for 20 to the, the 20. I've, I've known these guys for 20 to the, the 20 to 10 years is the shortest amount of time I've known those guys. Uh, they have a right to continue to do what, do what they're, they're doing. They have a right to have their own career and they have a right to their own political beliefs, which are, which, you know, it's not fair for them to take heat for beliefs that they don't have. These are my beliefs. So I'm going to do my thing. I really, really appreciate you guys. I really love you guys. Uh, you know, this is, uh, this is going to be a positive thing and there's going to be a healthy competition. I, I can't wait to hear what comes out of them musically. Uh, uh, you know, I got a short list of singers that I, I'm fingers crossed that singers that I'm a fan of that I hope they get. And, um, you know, I just, uh, you know, I, I'm going to go, I'm going to crush it, you know? And so I'm just going to keep making music and keep doing my thing. And, um, you know, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. And, it's been my honor and privilege to meet you guys and to perform for you guys and to share experiences with you guys. And, you know, every day I get off stage, every time we play a show, I end the show by saying, you know, thank you for giving me an opportunity to live a life beyond my wildest dreams. And no matter what the media can do to me, no matter what the gatekeepers can do to me or big tech or this, that, the other, I literally am someone who I was a, I'm a, I was a drug addict you know, who got clean and I had this amazing journey and I've been all over the world and I've saved other people's lives. There are people who, you know, there are, there are people who are, I look up to that are artists that would not be alive if it wasn't for me, you know, and that's been the great privilege of my life is to be someone who, you know, when, when my higher power called me to show up for other people, you know, I knew what to do. And so I love you guys. I love my life. I love making art. I love this country. Fucking God bless America. God bless all you guys. God bless everywhere. It's a crazy time. And, uh, you know, I'm keeping the faith. And, you know, this is Vexit 2021. All right. Thanks.